we commend our Catholic bishops for calling out this rogue government on its unethical dealings with the people of Kenya that are corroding the basic core values that we cherish as a Kenyan people. Now, because of uh, this genetically modified approach, you can never plant the same seeds twice. Yeah, you plant once and you have to wait. <laughs> and uh, we went to court, we instructed our learned uh, friend, Paul Mwangi, to go to court of that GMO thing. The course last few days, I think, uh, uh, um, uh, took a negative decision. We have instructed Paul Mwangi again to go on appeal because we must keep ourselves engaged on, on the welfare of our country. Uh, with the complications of shaf and shif. <laughs> yeah, sha and shif. Shisha, as Baba Yao calls them. <laughs> Shisha. Yeah. Where, where are we going to get all these people? People with compromised immunity and things. But while we are at it, we want to thank uh, the good Lord for restoring the health of our brother here, Honorable Karima. He's here. I think you should really come and be seen. Because he has come to invite us to attend an event at Ken on the 8th of next month. This gentleman has just come from treatment in India. And India has become now a health tourism destination. Instead of our people now benefiting, and this is the way we should look forward and, and create uh, tourism around medicine. But instead, we are, we are dispatching our people all over, mainly to India. The story of Mwishmua Karima is amazing. People have written him off, but he's back. He received bone marrow, bone marrow um, transplant in India. And he's looking so well. We can do better. But with this uh, regime, I have absolutely no idea what is happening. Instead, they are abusing bishops. <laughs> they, 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 they are actually literally abusing bishops. Because if you also don't respect our spiritual fathers, where are you going to get blessings from? I want to add there, and if there's any question, I know my colleagues wanting to, to add any comment. By the way, it was uh, Jeremiah Kioni who actually first pointed out this thing to us. He kept on talking about it said, what is Jeremiah talking about? Now we've done research, we have looked at this thing in, in depth, and what we have just given you is of vital importance to the present generation and the generations to come. Kama hakuna swali, tunawachia tu hapa. It's a story so heavy that you're still digesting. <laughs> Maybe you go a meeting also. <laughs> uh, you know, Biogaz is actually also produced. I remember I went to a prison in Embu, and they also do biogas. They do biogas. So maybe they're going to vaccine, vaccinate.